This episode of Photonics Hot List is brought to you by Luna Innovations, enabling the future with fiber. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the cool things happening in photonics. Photoacoustic microscopy, an in vivo tissue imaging method based on the formation of sound waves following light absorption in a material sample, has proven to be an efficient choice for seeing deep inside the body without contrast agents. But capturing super resolution images with this technique remains challenging. It's difficult to focus light into a tiny single point with just a lens. So what if there was a better way? Researchers at Pohang University of Science and Technology in South Korea may have discovered it with the development of a super-resolution photoacoustic microscope system that uses optical fiber instead of a lens. In a conventional photoacoustic microscope, light collects in the lens at a certain distance between the sample and the light source. But diffraction limitations make it difficult to collect light at a single point in the lens. The researchers' new approach sidesteps the diffraction issue. Tapered, non-coated optical fiber that's just tens of nanometers in diameter allows the distance between a sample and the light source to stay in the near-field range, where diffraction doesn't occur. The images captured this way are at a high enough resolution to see cells, including red blood cells, very clearly, which the researchers say will enhance the study of diseases. George Jetson's flying car isn't as far-fetched as it used to be, and we can thank Photonics for that. Technologies including organic LED displays, infrared and visible light cameras, and LiDAR sensors are already being used in prototypes of flying vehicles, making them emission-free. Among the most common currently is what's called an electric vehicle takeoff and landing, or EVTOL aircraft. They're lightweight, battery-powered air taxis designed for repetitive short-hop flights, similar to self-driving monorails at large airports. While regulations and safety provisions are still being worked out, the goal of such aerial mobility is to enable sustainable, clean transportation that's convenient and quiet and also saves time. EV tolls are also being proposed for leisure use. Sweden-based Jetson Aero has developed an aircraft that's essentially a human-sized drone with a joystick that can fit one or two passengers. It's already demonstrated flying speeds up to 63 miles per hour and can go for 20 minutes before needing to be recharged. It features an obstacle and terrain avoidance system based in LiDAR, a technology that will be a key component for safe and efficient autonomous electric flight taxi transportation. Removing a brain tumor is no easy feat. Surgeons must be careful not to damage healthy tissue that surrounds it or areas such as the motor cortex and nerve pathways. Quantum technology could make the entire process simpler and safer, according to researchers in Germany, who are working with a quantum sensor to do just that. Developed as part of a project funded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, the new sensor is a negatively charged nitrogen vacancy center, a point defect that's very sensitive to magnetic fields in diamond that possesses an electronic level structure, such as an atom, and can be optically initialized basically prepared in a certain spin state and manipulated with microwaves. Under the project, the researcher's goal is to build a device that measures nerve activity in human brain tissue magnetically with a spatial resolution below 0.1 millimeter. They anticipate that this will derive diagnostic markers to better analyze brain tissue by studying the magnetic structures. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Be sure to like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for Hot List videos and other interesting and informative content. Until next time.